Hey everybody, it's Krista and I'm here to do something a little different today than I usually do. I'm going to be talking about eye masks, laser treatment, and concealer, and skincare. I'm gonna try to do, Fatima's here. Okay, so Fatima, this is her idea. I'm so glad you're on, girl, because I was afraid I was going to miss you. Um, so anyways, Fatima's idea, <laughs> thank you. Thank you, Fatima, she's already complimenting me, thanks. Um, so I have a mask on this eye. My skin is not peeling off. It is a mask. Um, I did this eye before the show, before I went on live, um, to show you what the end result is going to be. It's a very brightened, lifted, um, very hydrated, firm <laughs> under eye area. So Fatima's idea, she's a customer of Tria. Her idea was she wanted to see how I do my concealer and how I do my, my, regimen on a daily basis so I said okay I am here for you I will show you exactly what I do to get this very smooth under eye at the age of 43 almost 44 in a, about five months so here we go um, <laughs> it's very hot in here I'm going to be trying to do my best to get through the heat and get uh, I have lots of bright lights on me right now that are also hot I, I, I have water so I, I think I'm gonna be okay but um, we're gonna get started with this eye mask. So right here is what I'm wearing. This is our Nuves Firming and Anti-Aging Mask for the eyes. And that looks like this right here. Um, I know it probably looks backwards, but is Nuves. <laughs> uh, there's no way for me to flip the screen, so sorry about that. Um, so this is um, a very luxurious eye mask for obviously under here, but it also goes like on the cheek area too. So it actually treats this whole area here. So I'm gonna go ahead and pull it off. I've had it on for 30 minutes, which is the recommended time to have it on. Um, so it's really thin biocellulose material that you just wear. You can um, put it on, do your makeup, take it off like I did, and then um, put on your concealer. So you can actually, um, you can save time that way without doing this first, um, or you could do this while you're eating lunch or something like that. So anyway, let me show you what's inside this. So you get four in the box and a serum roller, which I don't have with me right now, but the serum roller is for daily, daily use. So at night or in the daytime before you put your makeup on, you can use the serum. Um, these are once a week. So I do them before I put my makeup on. Um, you can also use them at night, but what I prefer is when I wake up in the morning, I get really puffy eyes. I don't know why that is. I think it's my sinuses draining into my eyeballs. I have no idea. So what happens is I get really puffy here. And so when I get up in the morning, I'll throw those on, those these masks, and you know, do what I gotta do in the morning. I don't care, walk the dog. Um, <laughs> I don't care who who sees me with eye masks on. So anyway, this is what they look like. Um, it comes in this really nice case. <laughs> this really nice case, and so what you do is you just peel this right off like this, um, and then you're going to, and so there's two um, pieces of material that wrap around the actual mask itself. So you wanna actually peel off that first piece, put on the mask, and then peel off that last piece. So there, the mask is actually sandwiched within these two blue things. Um, I'm not gonna put this one on because I already did one side. I already have concealer on this side, so I'm not gonna mess it up. I'm gonna put this back, use it another day <laughs> when I need one eye depuffed. Um, so this is good for puffiness, dark circles. Um, this is the firming mask. So if you want lines and wrinkles reduced, this is the mask for you. Um, some of the key ingredients in it are caffeine. So what caffeine is for is for puffiness and inflammation. So you can drink coffee while you're wearing your caffeine on your eyes, it's, it's up to you. Um, so the aloe inside is, uh, actually aloe is a natural dark circle reducer. I don't know if you knew that, um, but it is, and that's in this mask. It also has copper tripeptides. And what copper tripeptides do are they aid in collagen, production and firmness. So if you want to get rid of the fine lines, wrinkles, um, you can do that. Yes, Fatima, my eyes look super bright on this side because it has the concealer on that side, but this is my eye with just the mask, Just I just took it off and it's very firm 
I don't really see any wrinkling or any um, texture here. It's just very, I can actually feel um, it's plump too, so it's not dry. It's the perfect environment for putting on a heavier concealer to um, reduce dark circles. Let's see who else is on. Um, hi, hi Gordy and hi Amoda. I can't see. <laughs> I'm sorry, I can't see, so I'm just trying my best. It's really hot too, so. Yes, thank you for joining me. I'm going to be putting on concealer over the top of the, the eye treatment that I just did. Um, so another thing about these eye masks I wanted to point out, it's kind of important to me. Um, they're paraben free, they're sulfate free, um, they're dye free, there's no dyes in there. It's synthetic fragrance free. You only smell the fragrance from the natural ingredients. It's gluten free and cruelty free, very important. They do not test on animals. So that is the new vest masks and you get four of them and the serum for $105 and it lasts the whole month. So I'm going to go ahead and get started on the concealer. Um, so I also used, want to point out that I also used our Smooth Beauty Eye Wrinkle Laser. Last night I use it almost every day, I use it like four or five days a week. So this is going to help with fine lines, wrinkles, um, for me dark circles. Um, reduces puffiness, so that is why um, I don't have a lot of aging going on underneath my eyes um, in my in my almost mid 40s. So that is exactly what I use. Um, we are having a special. I wanted to point this out now before I forget. <laughs> we are having a special on the the eye mask. This is the sleeping mask. I've brought this up before. This is a copper infused um, mask that you wear to bed and it also helps with collagen production um, and you, this these two items together are $233 this is a special price for a limited time so if you want these two items go to triabeauty.com and you can get these at our special reduced price right now um, so like I said, this is the laser. If you don't, if you're not familiar with our Smooth Beauty line, this is a non-ablative laser. This is not going to create any wounds or blood. Um, it's just going to, um, it creates like a little kind of buzzing vibration on the under eye area and it helps produce collagen, elastin, and um, it just makes your under eye a lot younger and within two weeks. Um, so anyway, let me go ahead and get started. I know I said I was going to do this. Um, I'm not going to be naming the pricing on any, any of the products I'm using, um, just for time's sake. So I'm going to go ahead and use, this is the Huda Beauty Concealer. This is the one that I use when I'm going out, when I'm, <laughs> when I'm actually, you know, doing something where I need to look really good for my show, for, for, you know, going out, seeing my friends, um, for everyday use. I use the, um, this is the, <laughs> this is a very inexpensive one, Can't Stop, Won't Stop by NYX. So this one is from CVS. Um, you're going to pay probably under $12 for this one. This one is more in the $20 range. Um, so depending on, you know, what your budget is or what type of coverage you want, this one has full coverage, very full coverage, but I feel like this Huda Beauty one it's more of an, a luxury product, of course, from Sephora. You're gonna get a little bit more quality out of this one, but like I said, you can get similar results with the NYX, NYX one. So I'm gonna go ahead, this is color Whipped Cream. Um, it's probably the second lightest one that she has in her collection of concealers. I just give it a little tiny squeeze, little tiny squeeze, just to get some product out. I actually put quite a bit because I like to have this whole area brightened, this whole area here. Um, let's see. So I did not bring my sponge. That is not good. <laughs> so anyway, I was supposed to use a sponge. I did not bring it and I'm not going to leave you guys hanging. So I'm just going to use my finger, which is fine. This is old school. Like this is the old school way to put on your concealer but normally I would use a sponge and I actually use the wet and wild sponge. I don't spend a lot of money on sponges. I, I don't spend $20, whatever on sponges. I spend literally $5 on my sponge from wet and wild. So that is the one I use. Um, 
I don't necessarily get it damp like a lot of people do. I just use it dry. Um, I have not had any problems doing that. So this is like the old, the old school way of putting on concealer. I know, I know, but you never know. <laughs> Let's see. Yasmin Candy. Hello. My name is Krista. Nice to meet you. <laughs> so anyway, I was going to tell you guys, it's my, this year was my, is my 19th year of doing makeup. I did it professionally for many years. Um, I got into more of a corporate position later on in life. So I kind of shifted away from doing makeup to more like, uh, educating people on how to do makeup through um, articles and through blogs and through videos like this. So I went from applying it to to virtually applying it to help you. <laughs> uh, let's see, Fatima has a question. Do you ever have a bundle of 4X and eye laser? No, we currently do not have a bundle uh, of the anti-aging devices with the um, hair removal devices. Um, we don't, but thank you for that idea. That is a very good idea. Um, I will actually have to think about that. <laughs> I will have to think about that. That's a good idea. Um, hi, Flo, Flo, Mar, I, I'm not sure. Flo, can I call you Flo? <laughs> so, um, hi Flo, my name is Krista. Thanks for joining. Um, I'm going to go ahead and show you what I do next. So after I put on the concealer, um, and for you wondering, you know, what color concealer do I use? Um, mostly I go for something a little bit brighter than my natural skin tone. Now this one's very bright. If it's too bright, I can actually put a little bit of powder on top of it, um, of a darker color to kind of even it out a little bit. Um, but I like my under eye very bright underneath because I feel like it lifts, it, it makes it look younger, it makes it look brighter. Um, and so what I do is I use the Fenty Beauty Lavender Powder. Now they have this in other colors. This is also um, available in like a banana yellow. It's, it's in a natural color. There's all kinds of shades for this loose powder from Fenty Beauty. Um, and so what I do here is I take my trusty old school Mac brush. This is very old. This is probably 18 years old. Um, I've had it for a long time. They don't make brushes like this anymore, trust me. Um, so what I do is I take a little bit of the powder here on my brush and I tap it so that I have about this much. <laughs> this is a big brush and I just tap it underneath. So I just do this to set my concealer. And that is how I'm going to, what they call bake my under eye. So I'm just gonna tap it. You can use less powder, you don't have to use this much. I'm going to brush it away in just a few moments. Um, you just wanna let it sit there so that it sets your concealer so your concealer does not crease up. It gives it some lasting power, especially if you're gonna go out dancing or doing something exciting. You definitely want to set your concealers first. Okay, so I'm gonna let that sit. And what I was going to do is touch up the makeup under my eye, but I didn't uh, didn't prepare for that. So I'm just gonna go ahead and sort of take, you can also take whatever's left, that, that Fenty Beauty powder, whatever's left on your brush. If you start to sweat, like if it's really hot like it is right now, you can just take whatever powder's left on that brush and sort of tap it in the areas where you're getting sweaty or oily, or you can actually just tap areas where you normally start to get oily, like, I wanna say a couple hours later, I start getting shiny right about here. You, go, you guys know this area. This is like the oil slick area. So I just take a little bit of powder and do that. Um, right, I get really sweaty right here, like right above my eyebrow. I can put a little bit of powder there, right above my lip. So you can just tap all those, tap all those areas. Um, so usually I do this, stuff before I do my eye makeup. So that sits there for a, quite a while. So, <laughs> um, okay, so how do you choose your con concealer shade compared to your foundation? So my experience with that is it's trial and error. I go through a lot of trials and a lot of errors through my foundation and concealer experience. It took me a long time to find a good combination of concealer versus my foundation because some 
brands don't work with each other. Some brands are built to work with each other. So I'm using, you know, the Huda Beauty concealer, but in comparison, I can't wear her foundation. There's just something about it. I can't do it. So I actually um, can't wear both. And I'm sure if you wear both of those products together, they're made to work with each other. Could be. Um, so what I do, and I actually, this is a little bit of a secret and maybe a little bit of a plug for, the, for that company, but I went to the Estee Lauder counter at Nordstrom when I was working there and I had them do a, a sample on my cheek. They do um, a color sample. And what they do is they try to, they, it's like a, um, a digital way to find your exact foundation shade. So when they did that, I asked them to give me a sample of the foundation that I matched with. And I took that around and I put a little bit on my hand and I went around and looked at other foundations and tried to find similar colors, similar ones that were the same. But I ended up liking the Estee Lauder one, and so I do wear the double wear foundation. That is what I'm wearing now. Now, it's a perfect match for me because that digital computer told me that's your color, that's what you should wear, and it actually was a perfect match. I was really shocked, impressed. I was like, wow, this is really awesome. So what I did with that was I just put it on, and it also helped me figure out kind of what tone of concealer to wear. So I am a neutral. I'm not cool toned and I'm not warm toned, I'm in between. So when I went to go look for my concealers, I looked for ones that were neutral. So this one, the whipped cream, it's not, it's not yellow, it's not pink and it's not orange. It's kind of an in between neutral. So since I found out what my, my tone, my color tone was, I was like, okay, now I can now I can just buy things without worrying. If it's neutral, it should work for me. Um, and for me also, if I wear um, bronzer, I can only wear ones that are neutral. They can't be too orange, they can't be too cool, they have to be right in the middle. And it's funny because I can wear silver and gold jewelry and it still looks okay. Some people with warm skin tones cannot wear silver jewelry. So they're not cool toned, they're warm toned. I can wear both so that's because I'm neutral and so it's really weird because when I have clients some clients will come in and they'll tell me I'm a cool tone and then I put cool tone concealers on them and they don't look good <laughs> at all so I'm just like it's trial and error it really is and right now I don't think you can go in a store and try on makeup unfortunately I don't think they have the testers for you to play with so the great thing about the internet is you can return things, try them out. The Huda Beauty one, like I said, the one that I use, they have a lot of colors, a lot of things to choose from. And I always go for something a little bit brighter because I want it to be bright under my eye. And I can always fix it. If it's too dark, then you really can't go back. You really can't fix it. So going too light, it's what I do. So. Like I said, I have bronzer. I can bronze over the top. I can make it look darker if I want to with powder. So that's my little trick. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and brush off the excess powder that's under my eye from the, um, the Fenty Beauty. Um, just to make sure it's all uh, agreed. Thank you, Fatima, yes. Something a little bit lighter so you can adjust it. Um, I also in the summertime I buy two different foundations. I buy one that's my kind of fall to winter foundation and then when spring and summer come, when I'm, you know, starting to get a little tanner, I will actually buy a darker foundation and kind of mix those together and work with it until it becomes fall again and that works out for me. Um so that's kind of my little trick there too. So I'm going to go ahead now and I have no blush. <laughs> I have no blush on this cheek, so I will show you um, what kind of blush I like, actually. Um, I like Bare Minerals blush. A lot of people are like, what, really? It's such a classic product. It's been around forever, but I feel like the mineral blushes just tend to blend with my skin better, and if you have large pores, um, I feel like it just makes it look airbrushed and smoother. I don't know, it's just me, but it has a little bit of I don't like too much sparkle in my blush, okay? So I like something that's kind of a 
semi semi matte so it has a little bit of sparkle in it but it's more of a matte and this color is called chuckle I love this color for summertime it's kind of a corally pink um, so I just take a little bit on the tip of this brush and I'm gonna go ahead and just I kind of smile a little bit first and then I I tap it on the um, the widest part of my cheek so like that but I don't want to interfere with all the work that I did here so I don't want to take away from all the brightness I created so I do just about that and like I said these mineral blushes like I said, look at that it looks very I don't know there's something about it it's very airbrushed looking and there's no sparkle so I can add sparkle later I can add my highlighter so I'm going to go ahead and put my highlighter over the top if you're not into highlighter just leave it just don't touch it just be be like this you don't have to put on um, anything extra sparkly this is what the highlighter ends up looking like at the end my favorite highlighter is Moon Play. This is a kind of independent indie brand. I love the packaging. It's so beautiful. Um, it's a loose powder highlighter. And normally what I do is I spray the brush with a little bit of setting spray. Um, I don't have that in front of me. Let's pretend. Let's pretend that I did it. Um, so I'm just gonna take a little bit on this. This is a Morphe um, M501. I'm just going to sort of swirl this color on very gently and I'm not going to put it on under my eye because I don't want to accentuate any wrinkles or fine lines. Sometimes sparkle will do that. You, you, some people know what I'm talking about. So I'm just going to concentrate on that cheekbone. You can like make weird faces to make your cheekbones pop out, you know. You can do that. <laughs> Smile a little bit and get it on there and it's very subtle. It's a beautiful highlighter, Moon Play. Look up the brand, it's on Instagram. Um, this is Vow. So this is great for brides, great for the eyes. You can mix it in with your lipstick and make it sparkly. You can do all kinds of things with it. Um, so that is actually it. So that is how I do my concealer. It's really fast once you have the um, the steps down. Um, and like I said, my, my whole thing at night is using the eye wrinkle laser then right after that I use our eye cream okay so I use both of these I have to use the eye cream right away because after the eye laser it tends to get a little sensitive under here because I just lasered my under eye okay <laughs> so I have to use something nice and cool so I use our eye cream with that stainless steel tip and it cools off the under eye area immediately so you go to bed, you wake up. Oh, don't forget to put on your sleeping mask. Let me grab it, hold on. Don't, don't forget to wear your copper sleeping mask. Now this, I keep telling people, this is no joke. This is a real beauty eye mask. It's infused with copper. It has these little pockets underneath here so that you don't get any light coming in from underneath. Um, it's very plush and thick. So when you're sleeping, I can't sleep on my back. So I have to sleep on my side. And if I sleep on my side, my pillow creates like little indentions and lines and things like that. So this actually helps prevent that. So when I'm wearing that, it's nice and smooth. And so when I wake up, my eyes look really good. And like I said, the copper in this material will help produce collagen and keep your eyes nice and tight and smooth. Like I said, look, I don't have, I don't really have any wrinkles under here. Um, okay, so um, we have some questions coming in. So uh, let's see. And if anybody wants to join me live, just send me a request to join and I'll put you on and we can talk. Um, we can do that anytime. We don't have to do that today. But if you send me a DM and you want to, you know, come in and be a guest or want to talk about your experience with Tria or if you just want to chat about beauty or ask questions live, you can actually send me a DM and I can set up you on the schedule and we can talk later about anything anything well it has to be beauty related I mean that's kind of what this channel is about so okay so there's questions coming in um 
Let's see, Fatima's saying, after how long of using the eye laser did you see results? So actually for me, I started seeing them right away. Within the, the first couple days, I started seeing a, a, smoother, a smoother appearance and my concealer went on a lot better and went on a lot smoother. Now, um, the last video I did, actually it was two videos ago, I was here with Skincare Cocktails and she uses the eye wrinkle laser a lot, like almost every day. And so she actually looks, her skin looks very young and she's in her 50s. Um, her skin looks amazing. And so she uses this every day under here. It only takes a couple minutes. Um, so within a couple days for me, it takes, we did clinical studies on it and most women it showed that they had results within, I wanna say two weeks. So two weeks is like when you start seeing a difference. Did I have dark circles? Actually, no, I don't have dark circles. I think it's a genetic thing. I never really had them. Um, I have discoloration under there for sure. I had, you know, some freckles and some darkness that was uh, more like a freckly um, skin, you know, sun damage type of a thing, but I didn't have any dark circles under there. Um, now skincare cocktails did say that she had dark circles and this does help with that. So if you wanna go to her page and see what she does, she, um, she has a very extensive uh, Instagram account with all the things that she uses. Um, so the eye mask, yes, this is Tria. The eye mask is a Tria product. Um, if you go on uh, triabeauty.com, this is there, this is $25. Right now we have a sale to get it with the with the um, eye laser for two thirty three together. So this is a special pricing, very limited time. So um, whenever you're seeing this video, I don't know when you're gonna see this video, but if you're seeing it now, um, that's that's the sale we're having on this. Um, yes, thank you, thank you, thank you. I love Tria, thank you. Um, yeah. So next week um, I do. Actually, I have my calendar pretty full with guests for the next, I don't know, a couple weeks. So we'll hopefully see them coming around next week. Um, how much is a laser normally? Um, you know what? I don't have the price in front of me right now. If you go on treeofbeauty.com, you can see, um, if you go to the see all tab, you can see all the products and how much the laser is by itself. Um, with the mask, like I said, it's a special price, the mask is usually $25, um, which is actually pretty good in my opinion. It lasts 100 washes in the washing machine. That's a lot. So um, the mask is in Alaska a really long time. Yes, thank you. Um, yes, please go to the website for any pricing. Um, I'm sorry, I can't remember all of the prices <laughs> at the top of my head. Um, what's your experience with the 4X? Yes, so, so 4X, this is, um, the two lasers behind me, those are the hair removal lasers. I am still on my laser journey at this point. I'm on my, I think I wanna say fifth fifth treatment. Um, I'm still working on my bikini line. Um, that's all I really have time to work on right now. I haven't worked on anything else, so I will definitely get back to you. Um, I've been trying, I don't wanna take pictures of my bikini line, I don't know. I'm just thinking like maybe I should take a picture of like a little, square of it <laughs> so you can see the results but I am seeing after my I guess it was after my fourth treatment and I just did my fifth treatment yesterday but um my fourth treatment I did notice there were some patches where I didn't see any hair and this is a I want to say a very dense very thick area like the bikini line is a thicker there's thicker hairs there so you're gonna take it's gonna take a little bit longer to see results because that hair is so so dense um but yeah i will definitely let you know how that's working out um i am seeing less a little bit less hair but not enough to to take pictures and start freaking out you know without shaving i still have to shave <laughs> i still have to do that um yes um mk ukk 0817 says i use the 4x and love it yes it is very great i am hearing a lot of things from customers I just heard from a customer two days ago. She told me she saw results in three three treatments. Um, I'm hearing this a lot. This is like a this is like a trend. I'm hearing three treatments, three treatments, and I'm going, wow, that's really great. 
um, especially the legs. The legs, um, like especially the bottom half of your leg, I'm hearing three treatments and that's um, a month and a half. That's not that much time. Um, let's see, coarse hair takes time, but it's amazing. You're right, you're right. Coarse hair does take time. Um, I am actually looking for, so if you're watching and you're a beauty influencer and you have a YouTube channel with, um, I wanna say maybe, hmm, I'm, I'm trying to think of how many followers, but and actually I, I'm looking for really good content creators. I'm looking for people that are really motivated and really into beauty and want to get in there and use our products. So I'm looking for creators, um, content creators, bloggers, to try this. This is our Smooth Beauty Laser for the face. So I'm, I'm actually giving, I'm going to be creating a list of influencers to give these to. Um, I'm sco scoping out YouTube right now to look for people. Now, the age group I'm looking for is over 40, okay? Over 40, because this is really when we start to see the collagen loss, when we start seeing the fine lines, the pores are starting to get bigger, we're starting to get frustrated. So this is the age group I'm looking for, over 40 with a blog or YouTube channel with great content. And so I'm looking for those women and men, women and men, this is for everyone, okay? Just wanted to put that out there. Um, right, so I think, <laughs> uh, let's see, I don't have a YouTube page, but love the Tria, yes. Actually, um, MK UKK, <laughs> if you want to come on the show with me and do a live um, chat, I'm totally down. I'm totally down for it. If you want to come on and chat with me about your experience with Tria, um, you can do that. Uh, we will give you a little gift for participation, um, a little skincare gift. So yeah, definitely um, send me a DM after this and I will get in touch with you and we can we can chat. <laughs> okay, so, okay, no more dermaplaning. Well, no, but um, there, so there, you actually might still need to because the Tria, what it does is it targets the, the melanin in the hair. So if you have peach fuzz on your, on your face and it's blonde like mine, the, the 4X might not be able to find that hair and target it. So you might still need to do the dermaplaning, okay? So a lot of women over 40, they start noticing the mustache growing in. They're no, they start noticing a beard. You know, they, they, they're turning into Jack Sparrow all of a sudden and, and they're just like panicked. And so that's when they start to use the 4X and see results. Um, or the precision laser. The precision laser is smaller um, and it's really, it's really nice to hold in your hand so you can do your face or underarms or smaller areas. So don't leave that one out. The, the precision laser is also amazing. I use that one as well. Um, I'm 37, but very fuzzy. <laughs> would like peach dermaplaning every week. Yeah, you would probably, if it's peach fuzz and it's light, you're still going to need to do the dermaplaning, unfortunately. So um, now if the hair's darker, it, I would, you know, it might be able to find it. Like I have, there's like sideburns that I'm not excited about, that I've always had. It's not an age thing. This is just like a thing that I've been getting. And so the hair there is darker. So I'm thinking about treating those instead of, you know, I shave it and I have to, you know, you know, it's kind of annoying. Um, but yeah, so I'm going to sign off because it's hot. It's Friday and I am ready to start off, kick off my weekend. And thank you so much for joining me and participating and talking to me. If you have any ideas for my show, please, please let me know what they are. And if your idea is chosen, I will send you a gift. I will send you some skincare or something fun you're going to love. And maybe you can come on the show with me and talk about it. Um, any more questions? Any more questions? I'm hot. I want to get out of here. <laughs> All right. So thank you so much. Have a wonderful weekend for me. And we will catch you guys next week because we do have um, next makeup tutorial, please. So you want me to do, so Fatima, do you want me to do my whole face starting from scratch? <laughs> I'll do it, but it'll take longer than 30 minutes, which is usually what the show is. Um, it might take an hour or more. I don't know. I don't know. Um, so 
so yeah, I might, if, if you really want me to, I will do, or maybe I'll do half my face, <laughs> like I did today with my concealer. I'll do half my makeup already, and then I'll just work on the other half. Uh, yeah, so that's it. Um, I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go enjoy my weekend. You think most of them will love it? What time next week do you come on? I think, okay, so I have to check my schedule. Um, I know I have somebody booked. Um, I want to say it's Monday, I think. Um, sorry if I'm not prepared to tell you. Um, I think it's Monday. I'll have to take a look and I will let you know. Um, ask people what time is best. That's true. Um, you know, this, so I actually do other things for Tria. So I have to make sure everything that is important is done. And so then I can come on and do this. Um, but sometimes I don't have time to do it. Um, so usually I, per, I prefer to book people for specific times. Um, that's convenient for them because some people have kids, some people have jobs. And so they tell me, Hey, I got to do this after work or, you know, I have to take my kids somewhere. And so I have to work around their schedules. Um, I can do it anytime. I just have to work with, um, other people's schedules. So, um, hi from Iran. It's Moha. Hello. Um, I'm actually done with the show, but this will be posted on YouTube, our Facebook channel, which is at Tree of Beauty. YouTube is also Tree of Beauty. Um, and then, of course, I'm going to post this video on IGTV. It'll live there forever uh, and ever. <laughs> I will look back on these videos when I'm in my 90s and go, wow, look, I looked great. <laughs> um, let's see. And I give laser. Oh, you so you do the laser. Oh, that's great. That's awesome. So we're, we'll come back next week and we will talk more about the hair removal laser. Today was all about um, anti-aging and I did a concealer tutorial. So let's see, you don't have to next week after you are free from your schedule. Yeah, um, yeah, so I will let you know. I, you know, I'm always on, I can always chat with you. I'm always around, so thank you. Thank you so much for joining. It's a perfect laser. Moha says it's a perfect laser. Thank you. It's great. Um, okay, I'm gonna go. <laughs> I've been trying to go for a while. Uh, but I like to see what you're saying. So yes, thank you for keeping me company. Thank you. Yes, it's very hot. <laughs> it's about 90 degrees in this room. <laughs> but look, my concealer hasn't moved. See, this has been on. It's not shiny. It's 90 degrees here. I have hot lights on me, so nothing's moved. Okay, I don't see anybody else on, so I'm going to go ahead and end it. And I will see you next week. Thank you. Take care. Bye-bye.